Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with a monthly overview of March 2016. Uh, this reading is for Libra. Um, if these readings help, I'm going to continue doing them, doing monthly readings, just looking at the main energies that we may be dealing with throughout the month. Um, I'm still doing bi-weekly readings, okay, and uh, covering each area of life in those bi-weekly readings. And so hopefully with three videos for each sign for a specific month, you should have enough information to know what's coming in for you or enough um, detail or guidance, okay, on what to do in a specific month. Um, so, um, yeah, if you can, let me know if the readings help you, if these monthly readings help you. Um, remember that these are general readings, okay, so they may not apply to everybody watching, not in the same way or not at all. If a reading doesn't resonate with you at all, please also check your moon and rising sign readings as well, and hopefully you will find more messages there as well, okay? Okay, so Libra first card we have is the hangman so for the first week of March 2016 you are waiting for some of you this is willingly this is by necessity because you didn't have a say in it so some of you are waiting on an answer an approval information guidance something to happen basically okay um, and for some of you, you have anticipated that it may take a while. And so you have put yourself in that limbo state and you are using that time to focus on yourself, do meditation, do prayer, prepare yourself for what's coming in. For others, you um, may be a little bit impatient. Um, it's either you didn't think things will, would take this long for this approval to come in or this answer or this information. And you're getting a bit restless. And so the card is telling you, you need to let go. You need to let things happen when they will happen, happen in their own time. Okay. Um, but yeah, you're spending the first week of March. It may seem like nothing's happening. Okay. It may seem like nothing's moving. Um, nothing's uh, coming in. You don't know what's going on. Okay. And you need to let go. Okay. You need to um, take a step back. Focus on yourself a little bit. Meditation, prayer, yoga, any kind of relaxing therapeutic activity, okay, would help you because things are going to take as long as they're going to take, especially if you're dealing with paperwork that may take a while to come back. If you're dealing with other people's schedules, again, it may take a while until all everyone can come together, okay? So please understand that everything is happening in, you know, the time that is meant to happen. It is happening for you. You just need to be a little bit patient, okay? And allow it to happen. Don't try to force anything because you'll break it. Second card we have, or the second week, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles feels like a confirmation of what we were saying for the hangman energy. The Knight of Pentacles is telling you that things are happening, it's just slowly, okay? He is, um, if I can say, the slowest moving knight out of all the knights, okay? He takes his time, he makes sure he knows what he's doing, he makes sure he understands everything he needs to be doing, everything that is expected to him, he makes sure he has everything he needs before he sets out on his journey. So that he doesn't have to come back, he doesn't have to turn back, he doesn't have to question himself along the way. He can just keep going. Okay, this is the card of slow but steady progress, okay? So again, I really feel like it is confirming the fact that things are happening for you. Prosperity is coming in for you. This offer that you're waiting on or this action, approval or information or person even that you're waiting on is on their way it will just take a little bit of time for them to get to you, okay? So definitely slow but steady progress, okay? So things are happening. So you may hear something that is indicating that to you in the second week of March, okay? So the first one, you're waiting, you feel like nothing's happening, and the second week of March, you get a glimpse of what's coming in for you. I really feel like you're getting a glimpse, like a little bit of information or 
um, a sign or an indication from someone or something that things are happening, things are moving, things are progressing, it's just slowly. Okay, third week of March, and we have the third week and the fourth week of March are both seven cards, okay, and seven talks about um, growth, but patience is needed for that growth, okay? So third week we have the seven of swords. And I don't feel like the Seven of Swords is coming in to tell you anything negative. I feel like the Seven of Swords is coming in to tell you that there are things happening that you are not aware of. Things are happening beneath the surface with the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is usually a card that talks about um, deception or lies or people working you know, behind your back or saying things behind your back or even stealing from you or taking away from you. Uh, but in this particular situation, it doesn't really feel like that, I have to say. It just feels like there's a lot going on beneath the surface that you, didn't, you do not see, okay? You're not aware of these things happening. But again, it is progress. Things are happening. You're just not aware of it, okay? And I really feel like some of you may, getting, may be getting a bit paranoid, and some of you may be thinking uh, maybe that person is trying to, you know... Um, take credit for my work or uh, come in and steal this position even though they know I want to apply for it or um, maybe that person is telling lies about me and that's why this person doesn't come forth or it's something that has to do with your thoughts okay because the swords cards are mental energy okay and I really feel like it, it's talking about your mind starting, starting to play tricks on you okay because you feel like you've been waiting for so long and you're getting so impatient you're starting to think well maybe someone is doing something that's not above board and that's why I'm not seeing anything okay if that is the case just know with the seven of pentacles just know things are happening everything's okay things are moving forward no, th no one's stealing from you okay and no one's trying to get your job or get your partner away from you it's just they need time. The situation that you're waiting on needs time, okay? So you need to calm down and shift your focus if you have to. Allow for these things to happen on their own when they will. With the Seven of Pentacles card, especially as your last card for March, this is telling you that you have already done everything you needed to do. You have already put in all the work that you needed to put in to get this to manifest. Now it's just giving it time for everything to come together, giving it time for everything to bear fruit, okay? Patiently waiting by your work, so allowing it to grow, okay? A plant is going to grow as, far as, as fast as it's going to grow. You cannot plant a seed today and expect a pumpkin the next day, okay? You plant it, you nurture it, and you allow it to grow, okay? It's the same kind of energy. So, Again, the card is telling you things are happening, okay? You will start to see fruit. It may be just towards the end of March or shortly after March, okay? But again, calm yourself down. There's nothing going on behind your back, nothing negative anyway. Uh, things are moving forward. Things are coming together. You are moving in the direction you want to move in. It just needs time, okay? And again, what you need to know most for February, for sorry, March, patience, please. Okay. So again, it's all about patience with you in March. Okay. I'm sorry if you were hoping for um, quick action or something to happen in March. Okay. I'm not getting it. Someone else might be getting that energy for you. Okay. But I'm getting that it's all about waiting for you all about allowing for things to happen. I really feel like this is a lesson that you need to learn as well. Uh, it's a lesson that you need to learn in patience and in being okay with the fact that some things need more time to manifest than others, okay? So patience, please. The card reads, what you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first. Unseen factors things you don't know about, things happening beneath the surface. 
that need to occur first before you get your desired outcome. But what you're asking for is coming about. That's the thing to remember, okay? So it would be beneficial for you to shift your focus, uh, work on yourself in March, work on your hobbies, keep yourself busy, keep yourself distracted while this particular situation unfolds naturally, okay? So um, that's what I have coming in for you, Libra, okay, for March. Um, let me know if the cards resonate with you, if they apply to your particular situation. Um, if you're interested in a private reading, uh, look at the About section on my YouTube channel or email me at advicethethingtwice at gmail.com. Thank you very much for being here with me. Thank you for um, those of you who have supported me this far. And thank you for those of you who are new to my channel. Okay. Okay. So um, I hope you have a really good month. Things are happening for you. It, allow it to happen. Okay. So take care of yourself and I'll talk to you soon.